In this video, I am sponsoring XF7 Gun Grease. That's right, you heard it right. I'm sponsoring him. I'm giving him free advertising because I like his product that much. My guns have never been any easier to clean since I've been using this product. Now, there are other good, there's other good stuff out there. I'm not going to say this is the only product out there. But this is the product I've been using and I've been more than happy with. XF7 Gun Grease. This is the bore cleaner. Smells like Bailey's Irish Cream. Smells delicious. Here is the tube of grease. Here is the spray grease. It comes in two uh, scents. Orange and, uh, and earth. If you want to know what earth smells like, it smells like topsoil. And the original scent of citrus smells like citrus. Comes in packs like this. And he's got all kinds of gift packs also online as well. And neat little cases. Uh, so I'll go to xf7gungrease.com. Support my friend Donald Christie. He's based out of North Carolina. He's an American citizen. Support an American small business and right here in the United States of America. And I believe he also has a place over in Massachusetts. So xf7gungrease.com. Check it out. Get it. You won't be sorry. Enjoy the video. Let's go back. Hi everyone, we're back at the range. And of course here's the Midwest Industry Sights. Let me just do what it looks like with the uh, optic off. I said you could use the sights with it on. I don't know if you can see it right there, but right there if you wanted to. You can still use your um, Standard AK sights with that industry with the Midwest Industries mount on it. Now let's talk about this thing here. The RS29 Feachi. <laughs> and yes, you're right, looking right. It has a crack. Did the rifle fall? No. What I do? I shot a bullet. I did. True story. But hey, for $26 in free shipping, you get what you pay for. Now, am I regret my purchase? Not at all. As I told you when I bought this. I bought this as a total experiment. I never had a reflex sight before. Wasn't sure how I was going to like it. I like my red dots. I like my Aimpoint Pros and my ARs. Was hoping to re with a uh, holographic sight, but someone said, "Hey, try this for twenty-six dollars. See if you like that first. So I did, and. Uh, This is the Fayachi RS29. It is both a red and green dot sight. Now I'm going to see if I can get this in the camera for you. It's got seven different reticles. I'm not sure if you can see it. If not, I'll do it later. There is the circle dot. And then there is just the dot. Go over two more clicks. And you have the crosshairs dot. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can still see or not. I'll do this later at home. 
and of course the cross circle dot comes in green comes in red five different shades of each color one through five for red one through five for green Now the good things about it is one, it's cheap. Two, it comes in two different colors and it gives you a choice of four different reticles. The outside seems to be very well constructed for $26. The glass for $26 obviously wasn't. Now at first, once we get the Zero it was doing good but we had a problem. After a while, maintain zero. Right before the lens cracked, we were constantly going out and reserving it because you could see when you shot it, and we bought on an on a, on a 8K, which is 7.62 by 3.9, you would see the grain of red vertical shake, which means it wasn't maintained zero, which means something in here was real loose. And again, for $26, what were you expecting? eventually the front windshield here did crack now, like I said do I regret buying it absolutely not I did this for experimental reasons see if I like a reflex light I can honestly tell you I really do like the reflex light I like the openness the way you get your thing on target really really fast but it is it is what it is for $26 it probably wasn't really made for an AK-47 I think we could objectively say that a $26 site was not made for an AK or even an AR. Um, I would say this is really more for like probably a Ruger 1022 or a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 any type of a uh, small caliber rifle or a pistol carbine maybe maybe a pistol carbine I don't know for $26 maybe on a 9mm like my PC9 maybe good or even my Ruger PC charger something like this will work 22 so this is a small caliber sight. This is something to have fun at the range with. Alright? There you go. It is something to have fun at the range with. It is something to experiment with. This is not a serious red or green dot sight for a home de defense rifle. First of all, you have a home defense rifle. I would think I would want something that's more uh, motion detected. Seeing that that's going to be my primary home defense. Or something where I have to figgle and, and make sure if I'm on set number 5, 1, 2, or 3, or 4, 5, and whether I like green or red. Um, when that, you grab that thing, you have to be ready to go if you get a bump in the night. Or, or some stupid peeping Tom. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe not. Anyway. <clears throat> so this is not a serious military rifle sight. Again, 26 balls. We can objectively say that. And after it has cracked, the front windshield has cracked, after about 700 rounds, listen, quite frankly, I'm surprised it lasted that long. And I'm surprised we didn't have a problem with the, uh, the zeros maintaining, the greater green maintained zero for as, much, as long as it did. And after about 500 rounds, we were constantly, I was constantly, trying to re-zero this from a 25 yard line I got a good nice 25 yard zero I did that but uh I wasn't able to keep the site long enough to develop a good 50 yard zero because once I could not maintain a 25 yard zero there was no point in even bothering wasting ammo especially the way price, ammo is priced these days I'm trying to get a 50 yard zero on something like this again this is something for if you want to experiment with it's just something for a beginner who's learning how to shoot 22 they're having trouble using regular sights they have bad eyes and you want to encourage them this is good uh, you put this on a an AR-22 or a Ruger 10-22 or like I said Ruger PC-9 maybe see how they like it and go from there now here's what I'm going to do with this this is obviously going to garbage I'm going to keep the batteries but I'm actually going to order another one of these and we're going to do some more reviews in it. but this time we're going to put it on my Ruger 10-22 takedown now I said my Ruger 1022 day down, I never wanted to have red dots. I just wanted to have basic sights, 
for our survival stuff. So, but for, for another experiment, we'll buy another one. We'll put on my Ruby 1022, I think. We'll see how she does. And we'll do a more fair review on a smaller caliber weapon. I think we can honestly say it will last longer on a 22 caliber rifle or pistol as opposed to a 762 Pi 39 military round. So, again, this is the Fayachi RS29. Again, it is what it is for, it is for $26. It's a range toy. It's something to experiment with. It is something to have fun with. And when it breaks, you're like, ha ha ha, and throw it, and you throw it away. And for, you, for people saying, like, how could you even waste your time, waste money on that, you know? Listen. Here's a box of Wolf ammunition. Right now, these are going for $16 a box for 20 rounds. And you think about how long 20 rounds last for $16 plus tax. It doesn't last long. Seconds. I was able to get this nice and zeroed for 500 rounds, and I got an additional 200 rounds more before the lens cracked. Again, it is what it is. I'm not gonna make a big deal of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna order another one of these. We'll put it on my Ruger 1022, and I'm asking for suggestions for my washer. We're going to reward my Wasser and my Midwest Industry mount, which I love very much, with a much better red dot or reflex sight. So if you got any suggestions for me, let me know. This is the RS-29 Fayachi. Uh, like I said, this is the most fun I've had in an experimental range in a while. I don't know, usually I don't do experiments, but... Uh, if you got any questions let me know um, again small caliber only so you get for $26 anyway be safe be strong be alert take care of your family if you don't do it no one else will do it for you I can honestly tell you that once you mounted this on it held on I can honestly tell you that it stayed on Unfortunately, the red and green lasers in here after 500 rounds You could see it could maintain zero and of course the lens didn't break so God bless you all. Jesus Christ is still king and we'll talk to you later